Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 9 video in VMware Disaster Recovery where we are using VMware vSphere Replication and VMware vSphere Site Recovery Manager with the combination of two, op two applications to build a disaster recovery plan based on VMware environment. So in last vi few videos we have deployed the uh, a replication appliance we have deployed the site recovery manager appliance we have configured both appliance and we have uh, done some replicate we have created replication job also so if you have not checked those videos since part 1 to part 8 I recommend you to go ahead and check those videos so you will get all the background what we have done till now on what we are going to do in this video so you have a better understanding about the everything uh, the environment how the how the so how the production environment and how the dr environment works and how to configure if you want to do the practical or practice at the home you can you can follow my videos and you can uh, have environment ready so uh, as you can see we have source site and target site so we have deployed both the sites and we have deployed the vr appliance v center servers and also we have deployed the uh, srm so so before moving further in this topic uh, this is my demo environment which we have deployed throughout this uh, videos so we, we got one VMware production side and one VMware DR side so at the production side I got one Windows 10 machine which is basically a console machine which I am using to access the my VMware infrastructure like VCS server site recovery manager and everything and a part of that I got one domain controller in production side and I got one ESXi uh, iSCSI server which is providing the storage to my environment VMware infrastructure and at the both side at the DR and production we got vCenter server appliance which is running VCSS7 and we got two appliance uh, replication vSphere replication and vSphere SRM both are running in 8.3 at the both at DR side and production side and also we have a two ESXi node at each data uh, data, data center you can say at the primary uh, which is the production and DR, uh, DR side so which is running a ESXi 7.0 and we got two virtual machines which we have configured in last video uh, as a replication job from the production to um, DR so if you see my environment this is my environment so the first one is win to get 12 DC01 this is my active active DNS server and this is my iSCSI server which is providing storage to my VMware ESXi host to run the virtual machines and this is Windows 10 uh, client machine which I am using uh, uh, to access the my vCenter infrastructure on a um, HTML page and we got prod ESXi1, prod ESXi2, these two are production ESXi host and these two are uh, DR ESXi host so uh, basically uh, uh, we have already created the replication so if uh, if I go to my production VCSA and site recovery you will see the site recovery status soon so everything is going to be green so this is site recovery manager version 8.3 and this is my uh, vSphere replication so I'm going to launch the open site recovery so this is going to take me to the site recovery and if I you can see we have two outgoing connections from production to DR if I open the DR site you will see two connections here which is going to be an incoming connection from production to DR so you see here two incoming so two outgoing from the DR uh, production site which is going to for uh, incoming for the um, site uh, uh, DR site so you need um, a vSphere uh, kind of any vSphere replication in place before you go ahead and create the production uh, protection group so basically if you talk about the protection group so if you see here uh, the replication we got two virtual machine replications so this is protection group so when you so say the protection group the protection group are basically a a group of servers or workload which you are protecting together so if if you talk about uh, this in this lab environment I'm going to protect these two virtual machines uh, in a single group so if if I want to recover these this group both the virtual machine is going to be recovered from the production to DR so to create this we need to hit on new button and you need to call it something like IT infra 
servers I'm just going to call it anything like IT infra servers and this is direction is going to be a India Pro to India DR so just click on next and this is going to be a, uh, we have multiple options which you want to create the uh, type of protection group so in my case this is going to be a individual virtual machines which is using vSphere replication also you have a virtual volumes v volumes replication storage array based replication and data store group replication so i'm going to use individual um, vms replication in this video and later on we will follow these uh, techniques also to create a protection group so click next and i got two virtual machines here which is already in replication so i go i am selecting both the virtual machine and status is saying okay so click next and we need to create also recovery plan so I'm going to create a new recovery plan and call it like IT infra servers so this is going to be for IT infra servers so click next so we got protection site name and we got the recovery plan name so just click on finish so it's going to create the configure the protection group now so now you can see uh, this protection group is created and status is ok recovery status is ready and we got protection type is individual machines and protected site and recovery site this is very important you need to understand this is protected site means it's protecting virtual machine which is running on the primary data center which is India prod and recovery site where it's going to recover in case we want to fail over um, fa uh, fail over the uh, workload road it's going to be uh, transfer the workload at the India DR site so if I open this you will see here the recovery plan so if I click on this you will see the all the recovery steps here so ready to uh, ready for recovery we got two virtual machine ready to recover so this is good and if I go to recovery step you can see these are the steps which need to be performed during the recovery so if you click on recover this is going to recover uh, basically uh, uh, transfer the load or you can uh, say the recover the workload from the production to DR so uh, for now I'm going to run a test so if I go now and show you the here and just to confirm this is going to be a test so the uh, test uh, this is going to be a virtual machine in test environment on a recovery site which is our this side basically if I go to here in the VMs you can see this virtual machine having a small icon, icon which is showing this is a placeholder virtual machine and even if you right click on it and if you try to edit settings this is going to be a give you warning some kind of like you cannot directly uh, modify these settings and also if you go uh, and check the storage it's going to s uh, show you the storage as a placeholder so you can uh, understand this is a placeholder virtual machine which is getting replicated through the site uh, uh, through the site recovery and this is getting protected through the this uh, particular protection group so I'm going to run a test here to just uh, make sure this is going to be a uh, test is going to uh, we are able to recover those machines so so replication is also you can you can uh, specify replicate research changes to recovery site so I'm going to mark this so click next and this is going to be a uh, IT infra server so protected site recovery site and number of virtual machines so I'm going to click on finish so you can see it's going to soon that uh, it's going to tell you the test in progress and soon you will see this is going to be sync the virtual machines and this will follow all these 10 steps to recover this virtual machines and it's going to power on this virtual machine at the DR site with the no network connectivity or you can say the end the test we, d we d uh, in the last video we have configured it to use the isolated networks it's going to map the isolated NICs in these two virtual machine and going to power on so we'll try to test it 
so now you can see synchronizing virtual machine so it's going to synchronize both virtual machine then it's going to recover and create the writable storage snapshot everything so everything is going to be automated now so you don't need to do anything manual here to recover these virtual machines as a test at the data uh, at the DR site so now you can see it's uh, the synchronization is completed and now it's creating the writable storage snapshot for both virtual machines it's running now and you will see soon these virtual machines are going to be powered on so now you can see the, these uh, everything is succeeded in uh, task 3 and task 5 so if you see here it's going to show you the network uh, configured test network which is going to be basically a, our a test environment isolated network so if I go down it's going to be sh so you shown the network is mapped as an isolated network which is auto generated by SRM so you can see the network SRM MPG which is uh, basically a automatic generated isolated network so both virtual machines is now power on so it's going to wait for some time to get the response from those virtual machines and once this is done it's going to give you the successful and the test uh, test is going to be complete so then we will see this cleanup buttons uh, cleanup button once the test is completed successfully and then we can perform a cleanup so I always recommend you to go and make sure whenever you create a protection group and make sure you check your recovery plan is good and uh, and uh, make sure you at least run your test recovery plan once in a test in mode so you will get to know the virtual machine are actually you are able to recover in the in the current uh, DR site so basically this process is going to be same if you recover in a production environment you can see the you can do the failover from the uh, D, uh, production to DR its process is going to be a same the only thing it's going to change here it's going uh, it's going to change the configuration of the network not to the isolated network it's going to put in the correct VLAN or the current uh, VM NIC uh, network which your uh, virtual machines belongs to for example here if you talk about this virtual machine does belongs to going to be a VM net uh, network basically so it's going to uh, at the DR side it's going to map the same virtual NIC so currently when you run the test it's going to be a virtual machine is going to be run at both the side DR and uh, production and DR but the DR's machines is going to be run with the isolated network so you can see the test completed and everything goes fine and you can see the test is completed successfully to, so the both virtual machines are powered on and it's available um, and it's responding to SRM so uh, SRM is able to understand this recovery test is completed successfully and you got the same here so this is good and now you got the cleanup button to uh, revert this uh, test again to the normal state and if I go here on a history you will see the test is going to be a success so this is good and now we are go good to go and just do the cleanup so before I clean up you will see the virtual machines is everything is going to be normal but the storage is moved from the placeholder to the correct data store cluster which is our DR cluster and it's going to put in under the um, uh, storage uh, DR uh, DS cluster so this is good so virtual machine is no more in the placeholder uh, placeholder when it's powered on for the testing or recovery so I can go ahead and run the cleanup now so this is going to run in the cleanup operation will remove the test environment and reset the plan to ready state so currently if I go here on a protection group you will see test completed and recovery state is, t uh, is in test so you cannot recover the machines which is uh, a workload which is in uh, from protection to uh, protected to DR site when it's in test mode so you make sure you go here go here and on the recovery plan you make sure you clean up this so go here and just click on clean up so it's going to 
clean the both virtual machines and going to play uh, again place in placeholder so this is also going to take some time you can see the cleanup tests is running now and it's going to restore the recovery state to standby and power off both the virtual machines and then it's finally it's discard the test data so everything is going successfully so it's not uh, the cleanup is not going to take long time so now if you see the virtual machine is again in power of a state and it's got small icon which is showing the protected state or status of these virtual machines and if I scroll down you will see the virtual machine is again uh, storage in a placeholder store uh, DR placeholder so this is good so and now you got the test and run button so you can if you want to really want to have a migration or you can say the failover from the production to DR you can run the, uh, run the this recovery plan so which we are going to discuss in next video so this is how you can create the protection group and recovery plan and how you can test uh, the same protection group uh, with the recovery plan in SRM so, so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me and my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.